Are you tired of taking selfies by stretching out your arm, trying to get everybody in the photo, but everybody looks a little bit distorted and weird? Wouldn't, don't you wish there was a camera that you could literally just throw up in the air, it would hover, take a nice group shot, maybe track you on some activities, be great for an amusement park, great for a little outdoor activity or in a house party? Guess what? There is a product out there. It is called the Hover Camera Passport in 4K. I'm Bobby Telling with Tech360.tv and we are all about this fun little selfie drone. Let's talk about the features of this bad boy. First off, 242 grams. It's very light. You can't put it in your back pocket. It's a little too wide unless you've got a very big back pocket, but you can put it into your backpack or your purse. The four blades here are encased by carbon fiber to protect the blades from hitting anybody. Don't want an instant haircut? Don't want instant eyebrow shave? Don't worry, this drone has you covered. Also, if it bangs into a wall, TV, tree, or maybe a boat where we're at, you're still okay for the most part. The battery's on the top. Push it out, click it out, put it back in. Battery comes in, lasts about 17 to 20 minutes in flight, depending on how you go. By the way, it comes with two batteries in a pouch. A drone with two batteries. Why don't more people think of this? Hint, hint. Okay. You've got a 13 megapixel front camera with 4K video up to 30 frames per second. You also have flash if you want to fly this at night, but it's black, night, never know if the drone goes away, you'll never find it again. But if you want to take night shots, it's available to do so. Also has a sensor on the bottom of the drone to, to dictate the distance from the ground or from tabletops or whatever, because you can fly this indoors. It is a selfie drone after all. Just don't have your fine china or any uh, very expensive statues around because it gets temperamental sometimes, and when it does, well, that statue might not be around for long. But anyway, folding, folding mechanism, easy, light, ready to go. Only comes in one color, black, because that's all they had designed. Wish it came in other colors, but maybe that'll be a special edition. What are the things I like about it? First off, it does track you by face, by body, if you wanna cycle, if you wanna run. How you set it up is you link it to the app on your iOS or Android device. It does the face scanning thing. If you have an iPhone 10, same concept, recognizes your face so you can fly without the app. You can throw the app away, the phone away, and still fly this around. But if you wanna do some distance shooting, you wanna do some tracking when you're running or cycling, you need the app. Speaking of which, it only goes about 17 miles per hour top speed, which is about 20 some kilometers per hour. Not the fastest drone on the market, not supposed to be. And when it tracks you, it goes from behind. So if I'm running and I just wanna see my flat butt as I'm running, this is the drone for me. Same with cycling over, bending over, getting my Mark Cavendish on, only seeing the back and the wheels, it's great. Doesn't do, doesn't lead you. It will do 360 around you. So if you want that nice 360 shot and everybody's looking like this, it does that too. I never found any use for that yet, but it's there if you want it. But where it really comes into handy is it flies on its own by hand gestures. Simple thing, power it on, wait about 30 seconds, it makes a beeping sound, you let her fly, and it goes by hand controls. You'll find out when she's ready because she gives you a little wink. Push the power button again. And there we go. She's off, looking for me. Take off the glasses. By the way, this drone is so loud that if you're inside, nobody will hear you. You probably can't even hear me right now. Now she's ready for selfie mode. So, two fingers up, gives you the selfie shot. By the way, I'm six foot one. This was designed for about five foot 11. So I need to crouch down a little bit. And it's recording video at the same time as we're doing this, it's recording. So we are good to go. Now I do wish I could do a hand gesture that would bring it up. It doesn't do that, but it will follow me a little bit. Come on, there you go. Stop. I'm like Cesar Milano with the drone. Put the okay sign, it recognizes it. The drone is done. And that is the Hover Camera Passport. It's basic, easy to use, it's fun. If you're looking for a good holiday gift for someone who wants a drone, a selfie camera, is intimidated, doesn't want to fly kilometers or over buildings and doesn't want to lose the drone or crash it, then the Hover Camera Passport might just be the drone for you this holiday season. I'm Bobby Tinelli with Tech360.tv. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Any questions you have on the Hover Camera Passport 4K, ask us and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Until the next one, take care.